Imagine discovering that your closest confidant was actually a spy, a chilling realization, isn't it? In the tumultuous year of 1969, such a scenario unfolded within the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party. William O'Neill, a man planted by the Chicago police and the FBI, successfully infiltrated the ranks of this revolutionary organization. But O'Neill wasn't merely an observer, he was a trusted friend and bodyguard to Fred Hampton, the charismatic leader of the Black Panther Party. O'Neill's role was pivotal, so much so that he was entrusted with security duties on the night of Hampton's murder. He had earned the trust of those around him, becoming an integral part of their fight for justice. Yet beneath this veneer of solidarity, O'Neill harbored a deadly secret. On the fateful night of December 3rd, O'Neill's true loyalties were exposed. Under the cover of darkness, a sinister plan unfolded. Betraying his trusted friend and leader, Fred Hampton, O'Neill is believed to have drugged Hampton, leaving him defenseless. Guided by O'Neill's insider knowledge, the Chicago police stormed the apartment where Hampton, his pregnant fiancée Deborah Johnson, and other Black Panther members were sleeping. The police, heavily armed, unleashed a barrage of bullets, disregarding any semblance of restraint. Despite the chaos, miraculously, Hampton and Johnson survived. However, Hampton's execution was carried out in cold blood. In the aftermath, a web of lies and deception was woven by the authorities, framing the assassination as a shootout initiated by Hampton himself, a narrative that would soon unravel. The Black Panther's decision to open the crime scene to the public exposed the truth. Journalists scrutinized the evidence, revealing the fabricated claims of the authorities. The bullet holes purportedly evidence of the Panther's aggression were revealed to be mere nail holes. The truth emerged, unveiling a chilling conspiracy between the FBI, the Chicago police, and William O'Neill. But why such extreme measures? The answer lies in Fred Hampton's magnetic personality and his ability to galvanize people, a threat to the status quo. The collusion aimed not only to silence one man but to stifle a movement, a beacon of hope for many. Thus, Hampton's death was not a random act of violence but a calculated political assassination, marking a turning point in the perception of his legacy and the Black Panther Party.